What is up to all my YouTube friends out there in the world? Charlie Pang is here. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make a text-based logo design in Illustrator. Now that I think about it, I haven't made a tutorial in a very long time. What the heck, Charlie, what am I doing? Before we get into the video, I wanted to give a shout out to my own clothing brand because I'm very, very proud of it. This is Street Dwellers, guys, and I'm sure a lot of you already know about it because I've been documenting it on this channel. This design I'm wearing right now is called Stairs, and I actually took this photo and made a design out of it. So I'm very proud of it. If you guys wanna buy one, you could do so in the description below. These are printed on Bella Canvas blanks, which in my opinion are some of the highest quality blanks you can get your hands on. And I actually recommend if you guys own a clothing brand or wanting to start one or just want wholesale blanks to check out Bella Canvas. I also link them in the description below. Now we're gonna start designing guys. So the first thing we wanna do is open up Illustrator. I'm using the latest version of Adobe Illustrator CC. Um, so if you guys want, you can update it before starting this video. I definitely recommend it. I have it open um, on a 10 by 10 document. So that's just 10 inches by 10 inches. You guys can even make the document smaller if you want to. You can go four inches by four inches. Um, since we are working with Vector, we can always resize the logo and we're not going to lose quality. Um, and plus it's going to help your uh, GPU out. What we really wanna focus on today is our font choices because depending on what our business is or what we're designing this text-based logo for, that's really gonna determine what kind of fonts we should be using. So I'm going to pretend that I'm designing a photography logo for myself. So the first thing I need to focus on is my name, right? So I'm just gonna type that out real quick. I'm um, Charlie Pangus, and this is just so we have it, right? So we're gonna kinda pre-plan our logo here, right? So we're gonna type out Charlie Pangus, and the next thing I wanna type out is, let's say, photographer. So now we have the basics out of the way, right? We have my name and what I do for a living, that's out of the way. So I'm going to just basically hide it right here in the top left corner. And now we need to find fonts that will kind of make this logo come together. And that's where you have to think, right? You have to figure out what kind of direction you wanna go in. Before looking for a font, I actually wanna duplicate my name. So I'm gonna click on it once, and then I'm gonna hold an option and drag and let go, and that's going to create a duplicate copy. And we're gonna resize it a little bit, okay? I don't even know what I'm looking for, guys. So I just need to go into the type kit, which I'm going to do now. I'm gonna go up to character, and then I'm gonna to go to the little drop down menu, and then I wanna to go to find more. This is where we're gonna find more fonts. The cool thing about the built-in type kit is you can really nail down what kind of fonts you wanna look at. So if we go to this little pin right here, which is the first icon next to filters, you can uh, change the classification. So I wanna go, let's say script, okay? So we're gonna do a script. Um, and then we also wanna change the properties. I think I wanna go a little thicker on the properties. So now we're gonna look at all these different fonts and see what we can find. I didn't find any fonts that I liked with the type kit and that sometimes happens and that's totally fine. I just wanted to mention the type kit to you because it is very helpful sometimes and um, some of you might actually uh, find it really useful. So um, it's okay we didn't find one. I actually already have a bunch of fonts that I already downloaded. And if you guys are having a hard time finding fonts, you can always go to losttypeco.com or dafont.com and uh, download fonts. Just make sure you are checking the license on them. Make sure it's okay for personal use and uh, maybe even commercial use, depending on what you're using it for. Another thing I forgot to mention is that my name is in all caps and I don't want that because it's going to be a script, so I'm going to redo that. I'm just capitalizing the first letter of my first and last name and that's it. So now I'm going to select it and we're gonna find a font real quick that I already have installed. The font that stood out to me the most was this one called Matt Cool Bold. And uh, what I wanna do actually is I wanna separate the last name. So I'm just gonna copy it real quick. So I'm selecting it and then I'm gonna do Command X and copy that and we're gonna paste it on its own um, layer basically because I wanna be able to customize it if I want to. So now what I wanna do is go up to align and I'm just going to align it and we're just gonna come up with like a basic logo structure, right? So I think this looks pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and kind of squeeze it in a little bit. I like that the Y and the P kind of interact with each other. It looks pretty cool. So we're gonna we're gonna stick with that. I don't think there's much more that I wanna do with it. So we're just going to combine both. I like how it looks, but I think it's a little long. So we're gonna duplicate it and put it off to the side and we're gonna try to put Pangus under Charlie and see what this looks like. So we're gonna kinda do something like this. A little off center for me and I don't like how that looks. So we're just gonna keep messing with it until we find something that looks pretty cool. Problem with it is it is a little awkward because there's some negative space on the right. 
um, on the top right and the bottom left. That's something that I really don't like very much, but we might be able to play with that a little bit. So we're gonna put that one off to the side as well. So now I have two variations of my name that I can work with. We're gonna go ahead and select the first one. I'm gonna group it together and we're going to try to make something out of this one. So what I wanna do now is go to my ellipse and I can hit L on my keyboard to quickly go to that. I wanna use this ellipse as a text path, right? So we're just gonna kinda of drag it in place right here. I'm using this ellipse because I wanna create a nice arc with my text. So in order to do that, I can actually use the type on a path tool. It's a super useful tool, guys. Definitely check it out. It's right above the T tool, so we just wanna to go to type on a path. Now that I have the type on a path tool, I just wanna hover on the top part of the ellipse on the edge and I'm going to see this little wavy line and then I just want to click once and that's going to put some lorem ipsum down. We're going to type out, um, let's say photographer, just like this photographer. And I always put photography, of course. So we're just going to put photographer. And the next thing I want to do is I also resize it a little bit and center it. And then we can use these little brackets or whatever you want to call them to kind of recenter our text. And that's going to force it to the bottom too when I start doing that, which is what I wanted anyway. So I kind of got a head start there. And if yours doesn't go to the bottom right away, do not worry. All you have to do is mess with these little brackets and move it to the bottom. Really easy once you get it down. Um, so now we have photographer and I do think it needs to be a little bit bigger, just like this. And um, we can also make sure everything is centered because that is also very, very important. So we're gonna make sure everything's centered, which it is. So now we have Charlie Pang as photographer. That's just one way to do it. Another thing we could do is duplicate this and kind of bring it down. And then we can actually delete the top portion of this real quick and we can drag this other one that we have right above and see what it looks like. And again, this is all about experimenting, guys. So if you don't like something, you can always redo it. I don't think I like this one either, but again, we're just gonna play with it and see what happens. I'm gonna go to share and add a quick share to this and see what it looks like. And again, this might look really bad, I don't know. We'll see right now, I guess. So we're gonna kinda add a little bit of a, a share to this and um, I'm gonna drag this down just like this. And I think this does look a little better. I think it has a little bit more character now. I think photographer is a little too big though. So we're gonna actually resize it. I do think adding that share really helped this logo out. Um, I still think it's a little awkward. Um, there's definitely more stuff I can do to it, but for right now, I don't think it looks too bad at all. So we're just gonna keep it like this. Within a few minutes, I created two different logo variations for myself that are text-based. And that's not very much time, by the way, guys. You should probably spend a week on this to really come up with the logo that you're gonna love. Um, I did this so fast just to demonstrate for you guys how I go about doing it. The first thing you guys wanna focus on is what your logo's for, right? And then find the right fonts, guys. You need to find the fonts that fits uh, your style and your vision. And the third thing would just be putting it all together, coming up with the structure of your text-based logo, mess with a bunch of different things, guys, put together a hundred different concepts and pick the best one that you like and refine it a bunch of times until you are super happy with it. If you guys have any questions on what we covered today, leave them in the comment section below, or you could just say hi and I'll reply to you. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss another video. And if you guys turn on notifications, you will be notified every time I upload a video and I upload a few every single week. So you definitely don't wanna miss out. And by the way, if you guys wanna check out any of the gear that I use to film my YouTube videos or check out my merch, you guys can do that in the description below. My shirts are all printed on Bella Canvas, which are some of the highest quality blanks. So trust me, you guys will not be disappointed. Make sure you guys check out the description for all those links. But guys, that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for watching. Keep creating, keep being awesome. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.